Look what they wrote. Did you see that? Wow. guys so we just finished the gym now we're going to discover this breakfast buffet super nice here please you dance yeah thank you please welcome thank you look at the caviar that it's dripping this is one of the specialty that you guys recommend us to try. From the, the last trip, everybody wanted us to try sashuka. Yeah, it, it looks like uh, tomato sauce with an egg inside. Yeah, really, it's a specialty. Mmm, wow! Look at this. Mmm, and the eggs—it's melting. Got off the train. We're now in Haifa. It's the third largest city in Israel, and it's built on the flank of uh, Mount Carmel. Yeah. So it's a city that's uh, going to be super scenic, and we can wait to show you with the drone. <laughs> Superstar sunglasses. Okay. Also, if you have enough time before the, the tour, you can take a good pictures at Louis Promenade. Guys, definitely stop at the tourist area. I'm gonna pinpoint that for you guys somewhere in the screen. But you have to go here. They are so nice. They give you a lot of information what to do, where to go, what not to miss. Following their advice, it is better to take the bus to go up there. The reason why we're taking the bus is because there's a free tour starting at noon, uh, but it starts at the top, so we don't want to miss that and we're gonna walk down. Gee, what? You're showing a bit too much of the skin here. I'm, it's so hot in here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing those things so I have it's breezy. You know we're in a conservative country. Is that true? Okay guys. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the viewpoint? That's insane. Look at this. Look at this. This is so high and beautiful. Supposed to walk all the way there. Up here. <laughs> no, but it's close so you can't even do it. We thought we could walk up, but we cannot. It's closed. We were like, we were exactly what the cars are down there. No chewing gum, no photos for me, please. So guys, it is very strict here. <laughs> Look we're at we're us. Supposed to, you're I, supposed to cover. Thank God I had a change of clothes for the beach. I have a towel to cover yeah. my shoulder. Well, it's okay. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a side of cult. So you're supposed to be covered up. Yeah. We should know better. Thailand. Yeah, we almost got no access to this place all Just the way we came from here. But it's very, also it's very hot, it's noon, so do bring yourself some sunscreen or a hat because it's gonna be yeah. very, very hot. And lucky me, they allow shorts. 
Jade, you look beautiful dressed like this. Yeah. Okay. With some green pom pom. But that's gonna be that's actually really cute. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys later because that's yeah. what I'm gonna wear. The way you wear it, you remember. Okay, I won't say. This garden, it's very beautiful, very well decorated. But they allow you no time to stop and taking pictures is like a very quick tour. You're only allowed to walk quick. They, they, he said that it's gonna be a first stop later on. He doesn't want to wait for you. Just yeah, and you cannot go by yourself. <laughs> Look at this chubby palm tree. Yeah, it looks like a huge pineapple. <laughs> okay, our honest thought about this garden here. It's very nice if you want to, if you are curious about who are the Bahaya, but then again, you are only allowed of, you know, the small story of it. And the garden is very beautiful, it's just that it is very strict. I just wish we didn't do the tour and we took the picture at the bottom and at the top. <laughs> yeah, we're still debating on this place if they should allow people to walk in or I'm not. I'm not debating. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's so hot. There's no shade. You're walking. You're not allowed to stop for more than like a couple of minutes. Like you're two minutes. Two minutes. Yes, later. and like your like your pictures are very, 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 very limited. Yeah. It's it's. it's like why do you even go in? You could just have a guy tell you all of this at the bottom or at the top where you have the entire view. Yeah, like I, I feel like we just been walking through 706 steps up down to the shrine. And then you were not allowed to walk anywhere by yourself. You're if it's a you know a religious place and they want to keep it private, then keep it private. We've seen, you know, some more religious place <laughs> that yeah. Oh, Go ahead, guys. say hi. Hey. Hey. Welcome oh. to Haifa, guys. Oh, yes. Welcome Thank to you. Haifa. <laughs> Enough of us, you know, complaining. Now we're heading to a place. Uh, Stella Maris, which is on the side of the sea, and it is supposed to be a telepheric, so hopefully I'm going to be less disappointed <laughs> and have great souvenirs yeah. of Haifa. <laughs> Okay, we're trying not to die. The uh, wait for the cable car was too long. There was a big group, and it's only a couple cars every 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it would be around a one hour wait. Yes, exactly. So, um, and on top of that, when you get down there, uh, the Bat Galim uh, beach is a shorter strip of uh, sand. It's a smaller beach. So we decided that we're gonna take the bus to the bigger uh, beach here. It's over two kilometers long. It's called Dado Beach. Um, so hopefully it's gonna be beautiful there. And where do we eat in that park? Wow, Jade, it's a total different vibe than what we had at the, the city. So after 
after a little bit of rest, we thought that we could give you guys a bit of a review on IFA following your recommendation. And also, if you never visit Israel and you wonder if you should come here, here's our thought. Uh, IFA, it's a really nice city if you like to walk in the city, see the buildings, uh, you know, know a little bit of the place. Uh, what's beautiful about IFA, it's uh, the Garden of uh, Bahia. Bahia. Oh, sorry, Bahia. Uh, but still, you know what we think of it. Uh, the rest is nice, but the lack of structure. Uh, beside that, the beach, what do you think of the beach? It's very relaxed here. It's more of a... Um, it's not as much as of a city beach as Tel Aviv. So, um, it, as you can see, there are less infrastructure uh, around the beach, uh, around the boardwalk, but there's still some restaurants. Um, the sand is not as smooth as in Tel Aviv. There are some rocks in the water, but they're not that bad because they're not the one, the pointy one that hurts. Uh, they're the big, flat, um, smooth ones, but they're there. So, um, you know, if you wanna, that helps you decide whether you wanna come or not. Yeah. But I think if you have extra time um, in Israel and you've done all like the Masada and the Dead Sea and NGT. Jerusalem, so like all the, the, the major uh, viewpoints, and you have an extra day and you want to see something else um, it's really charming here and uh, it's beautiful and it's very relaxing yeah and it's easy to get here you can get here by train bus uh, and also if you rent a car it's also quite easy to find a parking yeah so it is almost 6 30 p.m. right now and we're gonna wait for the sunset so we're gonna let you guys go uh, on some amazing footage of this beautiful sunset. We hope you enjoyed today's adventures, even though it was slightly rocky. <laughs> yeah, it was. Anyways, tomorrow we're gonna hang around more around Tel Aviv. And so we see you guys in the next vlog. Don't forget to click the like button and leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel if it's your first time with us. Bye, Bye. guys. can see you know this sun look at the sun it's sinking in the water in the water almost the last second so you can see it dying slowly drowning drowning drowning, drowning. and I think it's 10 seconds one two three four five no more sun <laughs> 10 seconds Thank you.